Rivers are an essential resource for our planet, providing a range of benefits that are essential for human life and economic activity. Firstly, rivers are a primary source of fresh water for drinking and irrigation purposes. Many communities depend on rivers as their primary source of drinking water, while farmers use river water to irrigate their crops. In addition to being a source of fresh water, rivers also provide a range of other benefits. They support various aquatic ecosystems and provide habitats for numerous plant and animal species. Rivers also provide important resources for a variety of industrial processes. For example, factories use river water for cooling and other manufacturing processes. Unfortunately, many of our rivers are heavily polluted, containing dangerous levels of contaminants like heavy metals, organic compounds, and bacteria. The Yamuna River is a prime example of a river that has been heavily polluted. It is one of the largest rivers in northern India and is a major tributary of the Ganges River. However, over the years, it has become increasingly polluted due to a combination of factors including industrialization, urbanization, and human waste disposal. Efforts have been made to address the pollution of the Yamuna River, such as the implementation of the Yamuna Action Plan, which aims to improve the river's water quality. However, these efforts have faced significant challenges, including inadequate funding and a lack of political will. However, nanotechnology has the potential to play a significant role in addressing the problem of river pollution. Nanoparticles have unique properties that make them useful in various environmental applications, including water treatment. The method for cleaning up rivers is the use of nanofilters. These filters are made up of tiny nanoparticles that can trap pollutants and contaminants from the water, leaving behind clean and purified water. The process starts by passing the polluted water through a pre-filter, which is designed to remove any large debris or particles that may be present in the water. This step is important because if large debris is left in the water, it can clog the nanofilter and reduce its effectiveness. After passing through the pre-filter, the water is then passed through the nanofilter. The nanofilter contains nanoparticles that are designed to trap pollutants and contaminants in the water. These nanoparticles are typically made of materials such as carbon, titanium dioxide, or silver, and they have a very large surface area compared to their size. This large surface area allows them to trap a high volume of pollutants and contaminants. As the polluted water passes through the nanofilter, the nanoparticles trap the pollutants and contaminants, preventing them from passing through to the other side of the filter. The purified water is then collected on the other side of the filter, while the trapped pollutants and contaminants remain on the surface of the filter. The trapped pollutants and contaminants can be removed from the surface of the filter by washing or flushing the filter. This process is typically done periodically to maintain the effectiveness of the nanofilter and prevent it from becoming clogged. The benefits of this nanotech method are clear. Nanofilters can remove pollutants at a much smaller scale, making them highly effective at removing contaminants like microplastics that traditional filters can't catch. Additionally, nanofilters can be customized to target specific pollutants, making them adaptable to different types of water sources and contamination levels. In the end, nanotech methods offer a promising solution for cleaning up our polluted rivers and ensuring that our planet's water resources remain safe and healthy for generations to come. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the latest in science and technology.